Hello everyone and welcome back to Production Line. I am Ove Van Damme and before we start today's episode I would kindly ask you a favor and either post in the comments below or let me know on my Discord server if you prefer episodes of a length between 20 and 30 minutes, which would mean hopefully most of the time one video per day, but I cannot promise because time is extremely limited at the moment, or would you rather enjoy episodes with a length of 10 to 15 minutes, then I'm pretty sure I can manage at least one episode per day. Regularly, it can be maybe two. Um, not every day, but most of the times two and the other times one. So let me know shorter episodes or uh, longer episodes, but less of them. So what are we going to do today? Um, first of all, I think we need to find out where our current bottleneck is. At first, I thought it would be um, the fit windows thing, but um, after we removed the building of those or, or the um, in-house production of those, it looks like this is basically fine. So um, yeah, this is still at two minutes, and this is at one minute. Door panels is also fine. So all those are at two minutes at the moment. Um, yeah, so this is pretty much a saturated line. And you can see over here that um, with double um, chassis assembly, the second line is not completely saturated. So um, I think that currently this is not the limit and that maybe this will all pile up somewhere else. Um, I think the first task would be to make sure we get a more equal distribution on the paint line over here. So let's start with this first. Um, to get equal distribution, what we need to do is we need to find the center point between those two. And there, yeah, it, this is uh, right here. We'll then bring one conveyor over here, one conveyor over there. We will remove this one and this one, and then we will bring in all the cars from here to there. Yep, and that should um, help with equal distribution. Okay, so because the problem with the design before was that um, they will always try to um, go to an empty spot, of course, but in case all these spots are full, they will just queue up for the next one that is um, the nearest to them, which is not always um, the, the one that they are supposed to go. All right, so can I remove all of those? Okay, and then we can speed up the game a little. Oh, wait a second, we have some Okay, car alarm is mandatory now. We need to add that. And here, let's see, is everything still budget? It is. Okay. And we are almost done. We are at 2,200 cars, so... I'm not sure how long this will take. Missing upgrade car alarm, oh, of course. Wait a second. Upgrades. Uh, car alarm. Yeah, we already have the alarm over here. This is already available. So let's see. And this arrow is um, <laughs> keyless entry. Don't need that. Um, yeah, this is completely wrong. So there's something corrupt with the safe game, I think. Um, but that's fine because we are currently. I think we are playing this game for five updates already. Oh look. The export is still limiting factor? Oh, this export is not working at all. What's going on here? Wait a minute. Let's get rid of all that. Uh, facility is not a facility, it's export. Right here. Conveyor. Like that. And you will get. Um, the additional sales stuff. No, let's see. Okay, so now export is working again. And um, yeah, we still have insufficient resources 
for light and insufficient resources for air conditioning? A climate control unit and aircon unit. Okay. And it's short on uh, climate control units. Yeah, so maybe we should, uh, we need to optimize um, the fit engine compartment. And that was the plan originally, um, to bring all this complete line uh, down to this area. Where we have, we have two conveyors from here. We have one from over there. Um, so we have three conveyors available. And at the moment, all this is fed by, I think by just two. Yeah, there are two conveyors feeding uh, the complete production of engine. So if we bring this down to here, we will have at least two or three. Um, potentially, what does this conveyor feed to? Oh, this feeds the complete chassis assembly. Mm. Yeah, I think we need that. Okay, so now this is, yeah, look, just optimizing, oh, we have no research, wait, 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 um, let's see, income music is already done, I want to check the mandatory features first, we have the spare wheel, driver airbag, tire pressure sensor, there are lots of cool stuff around, um, oh, environmental feature, that sounds great, heated seats, um, Heated seats. Do we have issues with seats? So maybe we should not um, try to... No, accessories is fine, I think. We should not do anything that is an engine. So, um, start-stop engine. Let's go for, for a heated seat. I like heated seats. I have a heated seat in my car. And um, last week we had like minus 14 degrees Celsius. So I was extremely happy <laughs> to have a heated seat. Um, what else? Have? Oh, I also have a power seat, so I will just unlock everything that I have in my in my car. Folding wing mirrors, of course, I have those. Uh, no Bluetooth, no voice recognition, uh, no aluminium body, no spoiler. Uh, no, don't have all this stuff. Premium music? No, by far not. I have no music in car at the, in my car at the moment because it is broken. But that's fine. I have a cell phone for that. Um, adaptive cruise control. Nope. Traffic aware cruise control. Oh, yeah, lots of nice stuff. Heated steering wheel. Nope. Yeah, I think that is. That's that's fine for the moment. Um, okay, we have another feature in the. Oh, because the off-road is mid-range now, it needs central locking, but we don't have that. Or do we? We have. Uh, okay, central locking. Uh, I'm not sure where central locking is done. This is keyless. Key oh, central locking is already there. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, we are still making money like crazy. And I think we can increase pricing for some of our cars. 25 for a compact. 24. Maybe we should then reduce the number of comp compacts we make. Um, let's reduce this to 6 on each side. Over here as well. Oh, and uh, we are not making... We are not making off-roads. <gasps> Why not? Oh, we unlocked this in the last episodes and I totally forgot that. So let's add... I don't know, 4 reduce this to 8. Uh, schedule 8. That looks right. Okay, so now we have all that. Heated seats. Yeah, we upgrade this. Um, okay, and now I see inefficient resources all over the place, but this is still not piling up. So, um, the only backlog that we get at the moment is right here with the I think it's the 2 minute 11 fit window that currently limits us or the fit door panel so maybe I'm not sure 
it might make sense to, um, if you want to go faster we need to um, to split this up into two but I don't like that so um, instead of um, optimizing this line even more we will just try to make sure that this is not saying insufficient resources all the time so what we want to make in-house is yeah you are wait Yeah, you have a conveyor, but there's basically nothing that is coming in here. So we need windscreen, servos, and sensors. So you know what we're going to do. Uh, we will unlock the manufacturing of sensors and servo motors. That is a nice idea. Let's do that. And for this, we need manufacturer lights. So we will go... Um, to here this is fine I guess yeah we can get the, uh, those conveyors from down here um, okay so let's set up our conveyor system first um, this is the delivery conveyor looks kind of strange but I don't want this to touch here and don't want this to touch here so uh, we upgrade this one so this is where we want to deliver to and this is the one that we use for import and then we are going to make our um, oh we did not have make light really did I not research all those we need to make light and make seeds. Damn it. Where is it? Uh, light manufacturing now. And also seed manufacturing. Okay. And um, yeah, that's that's all for this episode, I think. Um, we rearranged a little bit of stuff, researched something, and oh wait, we still have... We have another feature missing, uh, the heater. Okay, we need heaters in each car. Oh no, this is mid-range, so if you're surprised. SUVs are expensive. Oh, the SUVs also... What do you require? Central locking. That one. Okay. The compact. What do you need? You need the heater as well heater and the off-road is also the heater right here is heater oh no you're mid-range budget okay so that's it for today thank you for watching and i will see you next time